Hey guys, we're here at the Zhengzhou train station. Uh, just getting here, it's a pretty hot day. What do you think? Oh my god, it's very hot. Very hot. We're about to be on a train to Chengdu for over 24 hours. 24 hours and 4 minutes. 24 hours and 4 minutes, exactly. Never done that before. That's longer than a whole day stuck on a train in China. So come along for one heck of an experience, I think. That's a great experience. I'm sure you how to deal with it. We got everything ready. We'll show you once we're in there. But for now, we're going to eat one of our sandwiches. And we got about an hour before the train takes off. So, see you on the train. first for sure ready to go we gotta wait for everyone else to get here we were kind of we kind of snuck on first 24 hours and four minutes and four <laughs> minutes one day let me start the timer i'm gonna start the timer now Three and a half hours. Just took a nap the whole time, so. Nap number one. Nap number one. Of, that's you have to take lots of naps on a 24 hour train ride. Restrooms are a little questionable. How many hours? <laughs> Almost six hours. <laughs> Singing in the snow, singing in the smog. <laughs> Five hours into a day long train ride, I think it's time for some rum. That's what time it is. That's how you survive a train ride for a day. I just spilled Pepsi everywhere. She's learning how to play Texas Hold'em on the train. We got plenty of time to learn. This is how you entertain yourself. These beds are a little cramped in the, uh, the middle level, you can't really sit up all the way. Yes, you can. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. It's comfy though when you're laying down. When you're sleeping, it's comfy. But uh, how do we entertain ourselves? We watch videos and play poker. I'm I'm a poker teacher today. But it's getting late. We've been on the train for about eight hours now. So not even halfway for a whole day. But it's almost bedtime, so that's good. How many hours left? 
16 more hours. Hmm. Look, we have our own sandwiches. We actually have 16 of these sandwiches. We made them last night. If you want to learn how to make them, watch this video right now. What are you doing? Hey. What are you doing? Hey, making chicken. Hot chicken. I'm making sandwiches. For Why? Us, for tomorrow, for our 24 hour train ride. Yes, making sandwiches for tomorrow's 24 hour train ride. All the sandwiches. How many? We're going to go for 16 sandwiches. <laughs> but, uh. We're just now starting the process, but you'll see tomorrow all these sandwiches okay. will be made. It's like 9.30 at night. Tomorrow's our train, so... Are we at your place? No. Are we at my place? No. Where are you? Thanks, Chris! <laughs> Chris, you're the best, boy! Oh, thank you so much, Chris. It's good to have expat friends. But yeah, making soon. now in Canada. Oh, Canada. Anyway. Yeah. We got the sandwiches going. Perfect. Sixteen. Sixteen to go. Of course we got the Texas-Polish combo. How'd you like that video? <laughs> now let's eat this delicious sandwich that you saw us make last night. Thanks again, Chris, for letting us use your apartment. Chicken and sauce and onion. Mmm. It's really delicious. And it's a great way to make a lot of food for cheap before you go on a train ride for 24 hours. Kasha, what do you think? <laughs> I don't know you are eating, not me. I'm starving and you are having oh. fun eating and making mm. video. I think you've eaten five already today. <laughs> this is like my seventh. But uh, we got Seven. 16. I don't know. Uh oh. <laughs> That's us, the two pandas. Going to see pandas. <laughs> Can I fix? Pretty good sleep. Good morning. Oh. Now been on the train for nineteen hours. going through a tunnel. So we just woke up and we're on a train for almost 20 hours now. That's pretty crazy. So about four more hours and we'll be off this bad boy. But it's breakfast time. Let's see what's in the bag. Actually, you should know. Anything else left? We ate a lot of it yesterday. This is what you need for 24 hours on a train ride. Here you go. So that's 16 sandwiches, pre-made, chicken, chips, some plums, some mintos, some playing cards, some bread from Tour de Jour. I don't need any bread. She's already eating the bread. And I almost forgot the most important thing, guys. One of the most important things. <laughs> Bingo, baby! The beds are actually pretty comfortable on these trains. 
I slept for like eight hours and didn't wake up at all. And it's a smooth ride that kind of rocks you to sleep. No complaints. No complaints. So just get the hard sleeper. It's cheapest and you can still get a nice sleep on that. There's just not much room for sitting down during the day. But uh... Enough room for two to watch a movie. Yeah, enough room for two people to watch a movie. That's true. We did that. He hasn't tried to kill me yet, so I think it's not that bad. I haven't tried to kill her yet, but it hasn't even been a whole day yet, so... We'll see. We'll see who kills who first. Um, just had nice breakfast, sandwiches, bread, and four more hours. We'll be in Chengdu, China. <laughs> Was it easy? Yes, I think it was easy. It really wasn't that bad. It was pretty relaxing. Let's challenge ourselves and go for 30 hours. 30 right? hours? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Twenty-four hours later, getting off the train. We're the last people on the train. Twenty-four hours later, thanks for riding with us. A whole day on the train. It was fun. It wasn't too bad. We're doing it off the train. Holy smokes! Yeah! Twenty-four hours, one train. It's not that bad. You can do it. If we can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow in a day in Chengdu, China.